brothers and sisters, uh, thank you very much for watching. This is about CERN and the, the dangers it possesses. Is it in the Bible? And do you know that this is scientists are starting to realize there's another dimension, a spiritual dimension, other than what we see? And I'm saying that that is where the, the true God comes from, the spirit realm. But unfortunately, also, there's bad spirits and um, these, you know, these, uh, these Luciferian scientists are going to, you know, let them loose. Or have done already. But anyway, um, let, me sh let me read an article I read about CERN on there. Large Hadron Collider could be about to find a parallel, parallel universe. The Large Hadron Collider is now firing up at its highest ever level, and scientists hope we could find a, a parallel universe. It won't be a parallel universe as it's seen in science fiction, but it could give our understanding of physics is about to take a very big jolt indeed. One of the many mind-scrambling ideas on the table is that the Big Bang never happened and the universe has always existed. Scary scientists are combining through, coming through results from June in the hope of finding evidence of many black holes produced inside the collider. That's a bit dangerous. Producing many black holes, this large Hadron Collider, when they smash two protons at high speed together at high speeds just as many parallel sheets of paper which are two dimensional objects breadth and length can exist in a third dimension height a parallel universes can also exist in a higher dimensions CERN employee Maya Fizal from the University of Waterloo said we predict that gravity can leak in into extra dimensions if if it does, then miniature black holes can be produced at the Large Hadron Collider. Can you believe that? Miniature black holes can be tr produced at LHC. That's, and they actually admit through, you know, that there, there are, you know, they're hoping to find parallel universes. I believe they already have found a parallel universe, a spiritual dimension. It's real. And this is where, like I said, God, the true God exists in a higher spiritual realm. But the lower levels, unfortunately, I believe they're going to release wicked spirit demons onto the earth, as the Bible says. Anyway, this is... This is a... I'm going to show something, which I will stop at time to time and and uh, speak about. Scientists and the elite try to hide what really happened at CERN. Demonic entities, extra dimensions.
physical reality is a shadow of a larger reality. And I was blown away when I first saw that because that's exactly what the Bible's been saying all along. Einstein made scientific history by recognizing the reality is a shadow of a larger reality. And I was blown away when I first saw that because that's exactly what the Bible's been saying all along. Einstein made scientific history by recognizing that we really live in four dimensions by adding time to the mix. Time is a physical property. We know that we live in at least 10, that's the current uh, uh, dimensions. Four of them are directly, uh, exp uh, we can experience them. But we know there are six others that we can't get at directly, but we know they, we, we can infer their existence mathematically. What makes that provocative to people who've discovered that is that a Hebrew sage by the name of Nachmanides, back in the 13th century, uh, predicted that from studying the text of Genesis. He concluded that our universe has 10 dimensions, only four are knowable, to use his term, and six are not knowable to us. And I find that fascinating because we've spent hundreds of millions of dollars on atomic accelerators to discover what Nachmanides did by studying the text. So the ten, some say 11, there's some debates among mathematicians about details, but there's awareness within the advanced scientific community that there, we live in more than just the four dimensions that we directly experience. And I, uh, that in Genesis 3, when God declares war because of the fall of man, the creation was made subject to the bondage of decay, the entropy laws and all of that, apparently were part, somehow tied to God's curse on the cre Everything we know about the creation is post-curse. Prior to the curse, it may have had ten dimensions, and for some we was fractionated. So that some of us tend to regard those six inaccessible dimensions as the domain of things like angels, the domain of paranormal behavior. So the book of Revelation opens... So isn't that interesting? Scientists are realizing, you know, clever scientists, astrophysicists, they're realizing there's more than just, you know, four dimensions that we live in, solid around us, but six extra dimensions. They've calculated it mathematically, and I believe that's what CERN is about. They're unlocking the portal into the spirit realm. See, you say there's six other dimensions. The Bible really tells us, you know, there's a spirit realm and a, a physical realm. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. You know, and the seen and unseen. In John 4, 24, God is a spirit. He says it quite clearly. And whoever worships him must worship in him in spirit and in truth because he's a spirit. I'll continue a little bit more. And he actually said, this, these extra six dimensions is where the angels are, even spirit, wicked spirit demons are, you know, and paranormal activity. That's where it comes from. Oh. These men do not agree with what's happening in CERN, Switzerland, right now. There is a 17-mile-long accelerator that lies 300 feet beneath the surface of the ground. Lies 300 feet beneath the surface of the ground. This area is where France and Switzerland come together. So part of this accelerator is located in France and part of it in Switzerland. It is a joint European project. The United States of America is there as an observer. But the, but the brain power that's going in to this experimentation originates in Europe. They are attempting to recreate what they believe happened that brought all of this into existence as being the Big Bang. Now you and I know from the book of Genesis chapter number one that in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. He spoke it into existence. They are finding things, and this is what's important for us to understand today. They are discovering things that they did not expect to discover as they get deeper and deeper into this, uh, into this experimentation and uh, development and research and so forth. 
They are beginning to find out that there is a whole lot more to the creation than they had ever given thought to before. They're beginning to find out that there's something going on here that boggles the human mind, that literally blows us apart when we try to even comprehend what's happening. This 17-mile-long underground tube that is uh, located there in Switzerland has, I think, four or five different points where they collide with some, say, protons and maybe something else, but particles that are being moved at or above the speed of light inside this collider. Now, for your information, there is one near us in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, but it is not nearly as large as what we're dealing with here. And apparently, the larger the collider, the more speed that they can attain and the more they're able to get deeper into what they're looking for. They're looking for the very building blocks of what brought all of this together. To give you an analogy, let's say you have a house. You As I said, they want to recreate the Big Bang. But also, they've discovered, they've discovered the Higgs bosom. A particle which they've called the God particle. Can you imagine that? They called it the God particle. The reason for that, they claim that this particle they've, they've discovered is what, uh, because everything, you know, when there was a Big Bang and everything came together, the planets, the stars, everything in the, in the solid universe that we see, was stuck together somehow, held together to form planets. Well, they say that the Higgs bosom is that glue that keeps everything solid in a solid state, without which everything will be just vibrating, you know, atoms. So that's why they call it the, the God particle. <laughs> Obviously, a lot of scientists don't don't like to use that word, but they admit it requires a god to keep it together. But that that's just that, that's false because they're giving credit to this Higgs bosom the that keeps you know everything solid like the glue that keeps matter together. Instead, it's God, as I said, the true God is what's holding us together with the Holy Spirit. That's keeping us alive. His power is keeping everything solid in a solid state. And really, everything is vibrating, really, you know, at an atomic level. So let's carry on. Now, what's going to follow in the message this morning is the implications of what's going on. But let me give you just a little bit of what has been happening. Where they have done this experimentation, strange things are happening, unexpected by the scientists. Paranormal phenomena, they like to call it. Apparitions, ghosts, all kinds of demonic spirits are beginning to manifest themselves yeah. in ways. Here we have, in CERN, Switzerland, a huge wheel Inside that wheel is a Hindu god. So as you can see, they said, when they've done this, you know, experiment with CERN, smashing particles together, strange things came, came out. Because they've opened a portal to the spirit realm. You know, paranormal and demonic entities. Some say three entities have come into this universe from the spirit realm uh, you know the bible i believe in chapter 9 of revelation you know one of god's judgments on the earth is um we call it uh, opening the abyss an angel from heaven you know comes down to the earth and 
give you know that helps to open the abyss and these locusts will demonic locusts because no locusts can thousands of them attack humans horses bodies bodies of horses face of a lion you know and uh, they have they can skin sting like a scorpion these are demonic entities that will be let loose and i believe possibly uh its son might be you know doing it chapter 9 of revelation one of god's judgments as i said in john 4:24 god is a spirit you know so he comes from the spirit realm the true god not some physical universe that we live in. Because here they've got Shiva, they've got dances to Shiva, and they are definitely being connected with Shiva as they're finding things. Let me give you one example. In one of their collisions, when they collided these particles together, they saw things. Thing. Let me give you one example. In one of their collisions, when they collided these particles together, they saw things. They were apparitions. They didn't expect to see. They didn't fit in any model. They didn't fit anywhere. They don't belong. But they, they could not deny the reality of it. Something was going on inside there that they could not explain. And it was scary for them. For the scientist has his paper and his pencil and his books. And if it doesn't fit in his paper and his pencil and his books, it's out the window. They don't understand. They have a hard time accepting the fact that there is a spirit world out there. That spirit world was created by a spirit being. An almighty, eternal, absolute being that is from everlasting to everlasting. You put in me what I am today by the power of Almighty God and by the power of the new birth. But a scientist like that will never admit that. Because that takes it out of his control and his power. He's got to be able to he's got to be able to demonstrate his theory and put it into motion. But anyway, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I want to leave this with you. I want you to think about what I'm saying. Stephen Hawking, and a theoretical physicist, has warned these people, you are about to open Pandora's box. And once you open Pandora's box, you cannot put Pandora, you cannot put back in what came out of that box. Now let's talk about some of the stuff that's going on. Can you believe it? Before Steve Hawkins died, to this very famous, clever f physicist, he warned he, there's, there's, a, there's a big threat to the universe that we live in on Earth by CERN what they're doing there they're, they're playing with fire like prometheus they're punching a hole a portal a, into the spirit realm that scientists realize now you know a lot of scientists that were skeptics said oh, there's no such thing if you don't see it you don't believe it now they're starting some of them are turning to becoming believers you know Stephen Hawking said, if you're not careful, you're going to open a Pandora's box. You know, so that, you know, they're, and they're doing it now. They want to make it bigger, CERN, more powerful, so they can smash the particle protons or whatever together at a faster speed, creating the Big Bang. But as he said, there's a danger. And there's even more of a danger too with dark matter that they're creating. Hold on. Much quicker, and they're beginning to produce antimatter. When they produce antimatter, strange things happen. They took some of it and they put it in a college. They won't name the college, and for reasons I understand. And the college had the facilities to contain it. Antimatter has to be contained. So they put it in the college <coughs> to contain it. Strange things started happening at the college. People started hallucinating, having visions. People were going wild. All kinds of crazy stuff was happening. 
apparitions. In plain words, there's a connection between this stuff and the spirit world. Now, I want you to think for a minute. Don't get ahead of me. Just think. The Bible said, He that letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. 2 Thessalonians chapter number 2. God Almighty is going to let them go so far, but he's not going to go any further. The spirit world, folks, is not affected by the physical. Demons, all this other stuff, probably couldn't care less whether you've got matter or antimatter. It's a spirit being. But to fit into the great deception that's coming and it's coming and it's about here right now. I mean a deception like this world has never known before. To fit into this great deception, they can sure draw these men in to make them think that because they have reached this certain point in their scientific analysis, that they're bringing in these spirit beings. It'll make true believers out of them. But it'll do more than bring two, make true believers out of them. NASA said just a few days ago, NASA, they said just a few days ago, that by the year 2020, that we will definitely come in contact with aliens, beings from another planet. Now we're talking about scientists. We're talking about Darwin's crowd. We're talking about the crowd that threw the Bible out and said it's old, archaic, anachronistic. It doesn't belong today. We're talking about that bunch. <coughs> to contain it, strange things started happening at the college. People started hallucinating, having visions, people are beings. It'll make true believers out of them, but it'll do more than bring two, make true believers out of them. NASA said just a few days ago, NASA, they said just a few days ago that by the year 2020 that we will definitely come in contact with aliens, beings from another planet. Now we're talking about scientists. We're talking about Darwin's crowd. We're talking about the crowd that threw the Bible out and said it's old, archaic, anachronistic. It doesn't belong today. We're talking about that bunch. We're too smart for the Bible. We're scientists. Yet this crowd is saying that in just a few years that they're going to know, that they know that they're going to come in contact with alien beings. I thought to myself, my, 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 my. You boys, have you, already, have you always known that? That you've got a certain date set? And what you think is an alien being is really a demon? There are no aliens out there, folks. Forget that stuff, okay? There's nothing out there. You get into the third heaven, you get into the abode of God. There's nothing up there. All these UFOs, spacecraft, flying saucers, all this stuff, that's all demonic. It's real, but it's demonic. It's not real like we understand reality, but it's really real. <laughs> it's demonic. I see a great deception beginning to develop. That in their analysis and in their laboratories that they believe in, that they've got their heart and soul tied up in, little things begin to show up, stuff that they can't explain, that sucks them in to begin to understand, well, maybe this is, a, this is being affected, it's being acted upon by something that we don't understand completely. And this spirit being that comes from out there, that comes down to this world, they accept with open arms because they're willing to put Shiva out there dancing around in the cosmos and destroying and then bringing a new creation. Creation in. Here are these wise, smart, brilliant men. And they're willing to believe that there's something more than what can be measured in a microscope and can be put in a petri dish. That there's something going on. And you better believe there is. There's something going on. Now the spirit world that I just preached to you about, you can see that. Now what about the physical world? Let's go back to Hawking for a minute. He said, remember, he's an atheist. He doesn't believe in spirits. He's a dialectical materialist. He's a Bolshevik. He believes that what they're liable to do here in CERN, Switzerland, is unleash the gates of hell. 
on this earth. The reason I took you to Revelation is because in the ninth chapter of Revelation, what you just read, is the gate of hell. Revelation chapter number four is the door to heaven. When he catches up his saints to meet him in the clouds, we're going through the door into heaven. But he will open the gate of hell on this earth. And according to Revelation chapter number nine, these beings are coming up out of the earth. If you remember when Saul went to the witch of Endor, she said, I saw, oh man, I saw spirit coming up out of the earth, coming up. What she see? She saw demons. Until God brought Samuel back himself personally, the real Samuel, who appeared before Saul and the witch of Endor. How, what would be a greater ruse than to use their science and their technology to suck them in to accepting some spirit being coming from somewhere up here, some alien, down to this earth and do it through a collider over here. This is as high a technology I suppose you got on this earth. And do it through that and bring it down upon this earth and bring it into people. Now here's one of the things about this. This, this, this antimatter is also called dark matter. And dark matter has energy attached to it. And the energy affects people. It affects them. And remember, when you produce antimatter, you've got to contain it. Because if you don't contain it, you've got to contain it. That's the biggest problem, containing it. Because if you don't contain it, it just goes wild. And they don't know what it's liable to do. Now, folks, go check me out. Go check me out. I, I want you to. Go check me out this afternoon and see what it says about antimatter. And it'll say, yes, you better contain it because you don't know what it's liable to do. But they do know this. From what they've experienced so far, it has an effect on people. Dark matter has an effect on people. It causes some people to go screaming mad. It controls people. It is, an, it is an enormously powerful thing. It's pulling something out of hell that you don't want any part to do with and turning it loose on mankind. Now, you know, I don't know that. <laughs> I don't ever have been in agreement with an atheist before, but I'm in agreement with this one. <laughs> I and Mr. Hawking see it the same way. They better leave that stuff alone. Yeah. The only, the only way you, the, the only crowds you have in this country today are the crowds that are pumped up by rock and rap, and it's all about. So as you can see, even Stephen Hawking said it, it poses great danger to the earth. This CERN, you know, open up this portal, creating many black holes into this spirit realm. Things are coming in to this, into this reality. As he said, you know, it's going to open the gates of hell. As it says in chapter 9 of Revelation, you know. And they're, because of this experiment, experimentation with CERN, they're producing antimatter, dark matter, which is very dangerous. You need to contain it. Because, you know, they, strange things happen. And have happened when it, it leaks. You know, it, it controls people. You know, it affects people. And it's coming out from that. It's the spirit realm. You know, and as he said, as I said, God is a spirit in John 4.24. And also in the Bible it says in First. Colossians 1.16, through him, Christ, God created everything in heaven and on earth. And it says, and it goes on to say, things that are seen and things that are not seen. So God is a spirit and he created things that you can see and things you can't see. It's spirit realm, the spiritual beings. And there is a great deception coming. So don't be fooled. They're, they're spirits, spirit demons or fallen angels, spirit demons that come from the spirit realm 
and they will pose as aliens, alien saviors, gods. They're not physical gods or aliens because there's no aliens in the physical universe. It's just a deception, this aliens, they come from the spirit realm and then they, they can put on a physical body like uh, Satan and his fallen angels. Just like uh, the legends of the past, you know, Zeus, they're just a misinterpretation of the fallen angels who, you know, to seduce Europa, he transformed himself into a bull. You know, so the, they can make themselves solid. And, you know, so please, you know, put your faith in God, who is a spirit. He's the true God. There's no such thing as physical gods. They're just deception. They're demons from the spirit realm. Put faith in God and put faith in Yeshua Mashiach. You know, because soon, you know, once the abyss is open, there will be hell on earth. And no one's going to protect you. Only God and, and putting faith in Jesus Christ, Yeshua Mashiach, if you repent. Because these entities that will come out of the abyss, they will go for people that take the mark of the beast and have no faith. So yes, CERN poses a danger. You know, this is not... Scientists now have learnt this is not the only universe, not only solid universe. There's more to it. There's a spirit realm. There's six other dimensions. And God is a spirit, you know, from uh, the spirit realm. But he's of a higher dimension. They're going to unlock the lower spirit realm dimension where the demons are and letting it out as it says in Revelation chapter 9. This is one of the judgments on mankind that unrepentant mankind have no faith. So please put your faith in God and Jesus Christ and repent and be saved. Anyway, thank you very much. Bye.